PIP claimants can get up to £748 each month, are you eligible? Learn how PIP claimants can earn almost £750 per month in financial assistance in this insightful video. Discover if you're eligible, the criteria for qualifying, and the benefits you'll receive as a PIP claimant. Don't miss out on financial assistance you're entitled to. PIP is administered by the Department for Work and Pensions DWP, and offers successful claimants up to £748 a month. Personal Independence Payment PIP, has two components a daily living part and a mobility part. The daily living part is for those who need help with everyday tasks, and the mobility part is for those who need help moving around. Each comes with two rates, a standard rate and an enhanced rate. The amount someone gets depends on their individual circumstances and how difficult they find certain tasks. Britons can apply for the benefit even if they are working, have savings, or are already receiving other benefits. The standard and enhanced payment rates are as follows. Daily living tasks. Standard rate, £68.10 and pence a week, up from £61.85. and pence. Enhanced rate, £101.75 and pence a week, up from £92.40. and pence. Mobility tasks. Standard rate, £26.90 and pence a week, up from £24.45. and pence. Enhanced rate, £71 a week up from £64.50. The enhanced rate of the mobility component also gives people the option of getting a motability vehicle instead of cash. The changes mean those entitled to the full rate can now receive up to £172.75 a week, which translates to around £748.58 a month, up from £156.90. A person has to expect their condition to affect them for at least 12 months from when it started to qualify for the support. They also have to be affected by it in carrying out daily tasks or in getting around. An applicant may need to have an assessment to determine what level of support they need. There are more than 540 conditions that can qualify a person to receive the benefit. Figures from a benefits and work study found these conditions are extremely likely to get an award. Dementia 94.1% Motor neurone disease 97.5% Downs syndrome 99.6% Creutzfeldt Jacob disease CJD 100% The most commonly recorded disabling conditions included Psychiatric disorders, including anxiety, stress and OCD, 37% of claims. Musculoskeletal disease, general, including joint pain or arthritic conditions, 20% of claims. Neurological disease, including epilepsy or multiple sclerosis, 13% of claims. Musculoskeletal disease, regional, including conditions affecting the neck, back or wrists, 12% of claims. Respiratory disease, including asthma and pulmonary fibrosis, 4. From sleep apnea and cystic fibrosis to severe asthma, the 24 respiratory conditions that people claim PIP for include. Sleep apnea obstructive. Upper respiratory tract, other diseases of a type not known. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease COPT. Chronic Bronchitis Cystic Fibrosis Emphysema Empyema Bronchiectasis Asthma Asbestosis Extrinsic Allergic Alveolitis Fibrosing Alveolitis Sarcoidosis Silicosis granulomatous lung disease and pulmonary infiltration. Pulmonary fibrosis, other or type not known. Pneumoconiosis. Pulmonary fibrosis. Pleura. Pleural effusion. Pneumothorax. Pulmonary embolus. Pneumonia. Lung transplantation. 
heart and lung transplantation. As well as this monthly payment, Britons claiming certain disability benefits, such as PIP, are due to receive a £150 cost of living payment. The payment forms part of a £26 billion support package to help vulnerable Britons with rising cost pressures, as inflation persists at a high 8.7%. To qualify for this year's payment, people must have received a payment, or later receive a payment, on April 1, 2023. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully this video will be helpful for you. Please subscribe our channel for more interesting videos. And please don't forget like, share and comment.